If heaven needs a DJ, surely one is on the way. Biz Markie had all the makings of a legend. He could rap, write, and scratch. But more importantly, the only thing he cared about was making people laugh and dance. In the world of hip hop, nobody beat the biz. For decades, the name Biz Marquee was synonymous with rap royalty. The self-proclaimed clown prince of hip hop made his name merging hip hop and humor. He's always been himself, you know what I'm saying? Wherever he, wherever he go, he's gonna make you laugh, you know what I'm saying? Put a smile on your face. His dreams was music and getting known and making everybody happy. But long before Biz would become famous for rocking two turntables and a microphone, he was Marcel Theo Hall, a kid from Long Island looking to make it big. In 1985, he got his first big break joining the Juice Crew. A few years later, he released a platinum selling song that would become his worldwide anthem. I couldn't believe it was this big gentle giant that was moving like he was doing, dancing the way he was dancing. Biz was a big guy. At six foot five, he towered over most of the people he met, but he had a way of never making anyone feel small. And he always looked out for people trying to make it in the industry. Tretch from the hip hop group Naughty by Nature was a fan who became a close friend. They looking at him like, Biz, you not, Looking like the rest of the rappers, you're not out here hardcore, you're not out here. He stayed right in his lane. He showed like you can be yourself no matter what anybody else telling you. The critics could say this, that, and the third. Come out there and be you. As a rapper and DJ, Biz was very much in demand, performing close to 200 shows a year. But in recent years, his health declined. And two weeks ago, after a long battle with diabetes, Biz Markie died at the age of 57. I don't think the world really understand what we lost. And what's billed as his final show, family, friends, and fans said goodbye. Dapper Dan, stylist to the stars, dress biz. I said, let's make him something golden so he can go out like that. And let's make him something that he's accustomed to. So he has a golden Gucci um, sweatsuit. Biz the man is gone, but his music lives forever. Biz Markey grew up right here in Patchogue, Long Island on a place called South Street. We learned today a portion of that street would now be named after the late hip hop artist. In New York, I'm Dre Clark for BNC. Such a great tribute mm -hmm. there from Dre. It's just a good to remember such an amazing artist. And I love that they talked about him as a person. He was just funny, a gentle giant, and may he rest in peace.